Okay, Leo, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. This is a Global From Asia podcast. We are talking about e-commerce, the story of, uh, of Leo's journey creating his T e-commerce website. So um, we connected through Thomas, which was also on the show recently, and um, I'm really excited to hear your story. Do you mind uh, just introducing yourself quickly for those tuning in today, Leo? Yeah, thank you for uh, having me, Mike. Uh, it's a pleasure. So, um, so Born Tea, we started off as a um, direct-to-consumer um, tea brand, so which is a um, um, digitally native brand, meaning that we do everything like primarily uh, online. Um, so on the on one hand, we source and find the tea lands um, directly in different parts of uh, Asia and, and now mostly in, in China, and we sell um, directly from the origin. Um, that's basically the core premise of the brand Born Tea. Great. Uh, can you say the brand again? Uh, Born Tea. Born, B-O-R-N. Yeah. B O R N T E A dot com and in Chinese uh, is Cha Huo. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Awesome. So, when did you get started with this? How did it get started? And uh, when was that? So, so yeah. So it was about um, it was twenty seventeen, um, and it's actually my second um, uh, uh, company. So my first uh, is. Um, like music video app, it was like a while a while ago, like you know, six six year or like six seven years ago actually. Okay. Uh, it was like a music video app where you put music on on video and on pictures, you know, sort of like the um, uh, early version of of TikTok and oh, wow. and so on. And then and then and then we decided to um, after like some time, I think like three years or so. Um, we decided to um, shut it down because um, one, we were, we were like pre-revenue and so on, and then we not very sure about like the best way to move forward. So we made a decision that oh, it's better off to not continue. So afterwards, um, I was thinking oh, like what you know, what should I be doing and and so on. So it kind of come all, all came together like you know wanted to create something of of value and something that i like and something that i have like a bit of advantage of um and it kind of converge to the thing called t and so the reason that um so first it's it's good for people because it's um healthy and it's natural and no calorie um with a bunch of other um health benefits uh, in it so we thought like it is generally a good thing for the world and secondly because of uh, my hometown um, is in um, a province in mainland China called um, Yunnan so it's oh, like Yunnan. the or yeah it's like the origin of tea so I thought um, well I can definitely source you know directly from the farmland you know starting from Yunnan and I love tea I drink a lot of teas I drink you know more teas than water you know um a lot of times in a day and 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 that's why i kind of have the urge to oh like this is something that i you know should be doing so this is how it got started awesome awesome so yeah so your first so it's it a completely new structure new company do you have you know yeah. maybe new, do, you have, do you have partners you're doing this on your new company so do, are you do you have partners investors houses how's mm -hmm. the structure yeah, so it's a completely um, new thing for. So, um, in the beginning, I I had a um, um co-founder. His name is uh, Raymond, and then um uh, gradually we thought it uh, it might be a good decision that you know one uh, of the persons to to move forward because we have like similar skills set and so on. But um, he was a very um you know we both were like hustling here and there going to like Fujian and, and like Yunnan and so on to source the tea so we made this decision like afterwards in terms of the structure yeah um fully bootstrapped um profitable and um some teammates in in mainland China some teammates in Hong Kong and like designers and copywriters um some like mostly so for like designers and copywriters part-time 
and this is like the basic structure um twenty we have not raised uh, any money and we are not uh, probably not going to raise so so yeah okay okay yeah. cool yeah i'm checking out the site yeah. now and yeah. uh um so how did you first do the marketing how did you get your initial or your, even currently your, your marketing channel yeah so uh it was very interesting and like somewhat st- stupid as well so what we <laughs> were, some what we were doing uh, was that uh we thought okay first is we we need to find like who are the people that may have like a higher chance of liking the product and it's so it's all about like accessibility like Chinese tea is not as easy to get access in other parts of the world for like quality tea at an affordable price. A lot of times, you know, maybe in um in the US like tea shop, it's um somewhat it's 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 the price is like pretty outrageous when I visited those shops. So I thought, you know, like without the middleman, you know, directly um sending it to the customer, we could save a lot of value for both uh us and also the customers. And so um we initially how we got is we try to really like talk with the customers and by talking like in person we find out where in hong kong has the most you know density um of, of foreigners um, okay. you know per square feet and it came to us you know for something like you know a bunch of like tourist destination but we came to a conclusion is that actually the airport so how we bootstrap this was we actually you know we built some like prototype, well it, like the physical product you know we yeah, have the yeah, design yeah. we printed we okay, printed it out nice. we go to Alibaba just you know to to get the packaging we source the tea by ourselves we spend months like sourcing the teas like so I, I mean this is one of those things that I should have spent like a little bit less time because we were enjoying like the time going here and there and stuff and um and yeah so we were actually spending. 90% of the time for a few weeks in the airport just talking with westerners <laughs> to get wow. the name out there to get emails to get you know feedback and of course we made a lot of mistakes in in the way that we come in, we we talk with customer the way that we got feedback now lesson learned but you know that's how we thought it might be a good way to just get started without spending much uh, marketing dollars because which is something that we we um thought may not be that good to spend more sure. early on. Yeah. yeah, of course. The, the hustle, it's always, I, I love the hustle and yeah, especially uh, talking to the user, especially face-to-face. That's cool. So what year? That was 2017, 2018 time about? Yeah, 2017. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you're literally like going around the airport with your, like a bag, a box of teas and yeah. talking to people? Yeah, li- literally with, with with the teas in the bag and like the boxes, we open it. We you know did A/B test, the sort of A/B test on the on the design and the tea. We get we even gave out samples. Like, you know, some security guy were looking at us. You know, giving some like green stuff. You know, to <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> to, uh, to 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 people and then asking them, hey, if you could, you know, you take know, this on it, a plane, yeah, <laughs> take this on a plane, and and I mean, we we have thought about a little bit on this but not too much but we were like oh you know if they're not willing to take you know it's fine but you know if they're okay. willing to, to take to share you know that would be great and so, you know, people are generally great like you know it's great human beings <laughs> so yeah let me yeah. just kind of confirm the flow or the hustle so you're literally giving away would you get did you get an email address or a survey did what what yeah. were you you probably asked for something to give them a free pack or, yeah, or, so like free free samples, ask for feedback plus email. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> and then did did you actually sell it too or you were or it was purely sa- sample? Purely sample. We were not okay. planning uh we were not planning to sell. Um but uh, of course we mentioned hey like we we found Bonty. Um you know if you we like you can you know check check out our website but it's purely like not um intentionally like selling it but more like getting some learn learn like the the, the behavior of, of the potential customers what kind of teas they like you know if it if direct to consumer is something that makes sense to them and and um like the branding design you know and and things like that so we can somewhat um make some changes 
um, okay. if it's relevant. Okay. Great. Yeah, yeah. I'm, check, I'm checking out the site and you also have like a business t- section. Do you do a lot of B2B or are you mostly B2C or is it? Mostly B2C. So for the business section, um, so for now we, uh, we have been, actually we have thought about like, you know, to be for, for quite some time because um, like, why not? Right. But we, so, but, but we would, we also don't want to like divert, you know, sort of our focus. So we have been like very intensely focused on the, um, on the 2C part, but recently because, you know, I'm most, I'm like back to Hong Kong. So I thought, you know, it, would be interesting to explore what B2B would like. So we we did some like a corporate gifting um, things in the past with some companies um, in, in, based in Hong Kong, not much, but we are thinking about something along that line. Yeah, to see okay. if it makes sense to like spend more time and effort on this. So now it's like still um, exploring to see if it's um, a good direction as well. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of going backwards, but you did mention you spent quite a few months sourcing and you you were both yeah. going into Yunnan a lot. Do you want to just, you know, give us some insights of the sourcing process? Yeah. So for sourcing, because personally, I really love tea. Um, so I basically like go directly to the tea land. We even stay with the farmers to, oh. kind of, to experience the experience, the life, actually like literally experience the life, like um, how, how, how it is to, to um, you know, have the best tea, like what does it mean by best um, tea, like quality tea and uh, where it's certain tea comes from, like, you know, Tia Guan Yin, it's from Fujian and Nongjing is from Zhejiang, uh, Pu'er and Black Tea is from Yun, uh, Yunnan, yeah. and uh, Shishan Fana. Yeah, of course, it's, it's great. And, and, um, and yeah, so I literally, you know, find, I, I try to find like the, the farmlands which um, have, you know, you know, like good basically like good people with good teas in a nutshell and so i went to different ones and then stay there and then you know go to the farmland to visit to see there um to 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 do a little bit of qa and uh to different provinces yeah like zhejiang fujian um and yunnan uh most of the time uh these are like some of the most like tea producing um kind of provinces uh in mainland china and just like communicate with them to to see you know um how how we can um structure the the whole thing and they're generally quite 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 helpful um and, and we um also like learn so much from them and they're like oh yeah that sounds great you know if, if this is like one of the channels that could potentially like sell to other um, countries that would be interesting to explore and yeah I mean I, I don't take no for an answer if, <laughs> if you're like no I would be like come on like you know like we, I, I can help and do, to, to sell it more and so just always trying to, to see if there's something okay awesome yeah. um, so I see you have your custom obviously you did a good job of the branding you have it's your own brand it's your own packaging and you you know i know some listeners and viewers might not understand a few places you're talking about but they're not near uh, china's big right so you have like yunnan in the west you have like fujian kind of on the east or you know east so you say you are um you're shipping directly from the farm so they are packaging for you or what's like kind of like the fulfillment you know somebody buys how does how does the whole shipping uh and logistics work yeah so there are mainly uh, two ways one is directly from the uh from the farm or from our um fulfillment um place in yunnan so basically oh, yeah. like we rent a place yeah, so sometimes it, it depends on the like it depends on a few factors like where it is, um, and, and the quantity and but like those are the options that we will consider and but but they are kind of similar. So basically, um, directly sent to um like door to door. Okay. Yeah. yeah and then the packaging is done at 
at the farm or at the fulfillment, I guess you have your packaging probably prepared already. You know, I think yeah. Some, yeah. And then there, maybe give, give me some insights on how that, that's, that's probably interesting to know. Yeah, so I um, uh, mostly, so the two, two ways, one is we ship the packaging to the, um, the tea uh, place so that um, they pack for us it, because it's not that difficult to do that. So uh, another way is to have uh, you know, our own uh, team um, pack, like basically pick and pack, which is also not too different than the, than the, than the former. And so we, do the, we hire designers um, uh, in Hong Kong and and some uh, copywriting uh efforts uh, uh by the by the copywriters uh, of course and and then we kind of test the packaging to see uh, you know what kind of branding that we want and how we you know, want other people to perceive it and you know if if, if this is something that is to be like uh, break breakable um you know over a long kind of um uh, logistic so basically testing these and we even like test a lot of paper to see which one texture is like better so i'm like now i can <laughs> get a better sense of what kind of paper that is you know yeah. like, you know, 100 mm you know is it like you know laminated or so on so yeah it's a pretty interesting um journey like in hindsight yeah it's uh it's definitely it's in, it's a nice story. I mean, I think a lot of times listeners, a lot of, of course, we're talking in English and uh, people are overseas. A lot of times there there's the challenge of the like, logistics, the packaging, um, but it's cool. So I don't know if you mind sharing a little bit more about the Yunnan. So you literally you rented a you have like a rented place yeah. for people. Yep, correct. Yeah, so we hired some people. We rented a place and then start start to, to, the operation there basically okay. and. Yeah, sometimes we ship the tea to there. Sometimes not, depending on again, like the the uh, quantity and also the um the, the where where we ship to, um and decide uh, where we ship from. You know, let's say from the the tea land or from from Yunnan. Uh, but I would say like operationally, Yunnan is quite uh, convenient because uh, like a native speaker, I can get along with 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 um, like tea farmland and, and yeah. also the people there so which is something um pretty good i would say <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah in the great. beginning it's definitely like um it was tough actually it was not easy to like uh, aggregating all these um um effort because you know we our, our back end is to uh, we use uh shopify yeah and, i can see it shopify and yeah. and yeah i i i i, I did the uh, front end um by myself um and we have to use like different uh integration um software integration to make it like um readily like so so so, so like basically letting our team know what to pick and pack um, in like from to to ship from you know, either Yunnan or other tea lands. Okay, yeah, that's something that I also spend quite some time on. And like uh, at um, in terms of the, the the question that you briefly asked um, on marketing side, so we did some um, uh, like. Basically, Instagram, Facebook ad, which was yeah. not as um, useful, um, but we did something that was quite useful is um, basically partnering with other like health conscious uh, community. Oh, um, because, Influ- because influencers, you say, or well, uh, not as not really influencers, but more like brands, like cross promotion brands, because okay. there are some brands that are. Um, quite synergetic. Um, you know, we we happily give like for for their users, they can get more teas if you know they got if they link if they got the link from like a certain brand and so on. So this will help uh, in getting more um, uh, users um, without okay. spending much. Yeah, because that's like always the hardest part. Like, what decisions um, have to be made in order to like basically get more customer with, with less um, marketing um, price, like in the beginning. Yeah. Of course. Um, I do see you have subscription, like a monthly subscription to the cold brew tea. Um, is that how, is that yep. 
looks like it's your main focus from the way the site's laid out. Is that is that like a good uh, a subscription? Usually, is always the best, correct. right? Yeah, yes. subscription is the. To... Yeah, correct, correct. So yeah, co- the instant co-brew tea is something that we um, invented. So um, so we in the middle of the journey. So we thought, oh, like um, traditional Chinese tea direct to customer is great but then a lot of times um you know uh, like some some of our customers actually a lot of from this from the from the united states so um as some of uh some of us may know like that they drink mostly like cold water so Mm -hmm. like as their daily like hydration so we thought no what if we could create something very natural that they can drink they can consume um immediately without waiting for like hours um uh, to to be able to to like to enjoy it so i went there and talked with experts to see how to pull this off and you know what are some of the processes and machines that we need in order to make this and um and 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 yeah so we spent like quite a few months in like really dig down into the, the technical the, the chemistry and, and and all that so we we basic and especially now as, as you can see from how the site is laid out it's kind of pretty prominent because yeah it's yeah it's summer. like your main thing now yeah. yeah it's like it's summer so we you know the consumption the demand is generally a bit higher so we wanted to make it a bit more like um, prominent um also okay. for people to try and and the feedback generally it's been a pretty good because basically it's like a tea packet put it in any reusable bottle, give it a shake and like nothing much is added purely from physical changes that we'll be able to make it um, like instant co-brewable. Yeah. And I like you're going after sustainability. You know, we've talked about this in some other shows, like, you know, I think everybody wants to hopefully, especially with, you know, this horrible COVID stuff, but just in general, like taking care of the earth and being more conscious of uh, our environment, you know, it's, it's also a good angle. So I, um, yeah, I mean, I think I like your style. Like uh, you're, um, yeah, you're like, you hustle with the first customers or feedback with the airport. And even now you're not really doing, you said, it's at least like the way I understand it is, you're mostly getting your customers from like community, not really from paid yeah. ads or. Yeah. not paid. Ad- yep. Correct. Not paid acquisition. Mostly uh, some, some organic and some um, uh, cross partnership. So partnership. So this is how we kind of uh, grow together with some other brands, which I thought is a pretty you know, healthy way to, to grow. I mean, we could try, uh, actually we're planning to try more on like the SEO and SEM side, but for now we sh- uh, like kind of sticking to um, partnering with brands together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's fun. It's it, yeah. It's it's also fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I don't know if you've looked at Amazon or or these marketplaces, but you know, a lot of a lot of people in the community are are doing good with these marketplaces too as a channel. So, um, something else to yeah. think about. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. We'll, we'll explore a bit more on some marketplaces because um, cool. for now we've been like our own place. Sure. Sure. I mean, yeah. Take it step by step. Um, so then, let's see. So, any kind of like lessons learned, stories, tips for people, you know, in this ecom venture world of, especially in this cross border, you know, like, like we're in. Yeah, I think for for one like specific cross border is really to, um, of course, that like first is like to see like what kind of product to actually, um, that can like sell in in other you know, countries. So I would say like um, focus more on the demand side, like rather than supply side, because um, this is also something that I've been telling myself is that like if something that for example, like in, in China, like if the supply is high, of course, like it doesn't translate um, to like it can sell in other countries, um, even though it could. So I think try to find w- ways to validate the demand without building your own brand. I think it's actually quite important. And secondly, it's, uh, it's just kind of like a general kind of um, uh, a perspective on um talking with customers because this is something that i wasted 
<laughs> actually a lot of time on. The reason is that I talk with customer asking, oh, like if I do this, will you like this? You know, it's, it, I mean, a lot of, uh, maybe some of your audience or, or yeah, like we, we know that you know, this is not a good way to like, it's sort of, you know, self-fulfilling. And, oh, hey, if I do this, we like it. You know, if, if you drink Chinese tea, uh, you know, you get XX benefit, will you want to drink? It's like asking if people like ice cream, but then the reasons that they may not like it are not obvious when you ask them. So basically, um, I, I read a book called The Mom Test, which is a book that I wish I had, you know, read earlier, and okay. I would recommend to like everything. Yeah, if you could send me the link, or uh, I'll put in the show notes. Yeah, so it's uh, called the Mom Test. I, I um, interesting I name. It. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the 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 premise, like, to the the core of it is to ask for past behavior, not future, um, kind of the behavior that they think they would do. Um, so generally speaking, like we hope not to ask like the imagination for, from the uh, customers that like we ask past experience because it is the best predictor of, of future behavior. So, so anyway, I ask a lot of these kind of <laughs> somewhat stupid questions uh, when I think that. But, you know, I guess this is the, the way that you know, I learned to bump into mistake and, and so on. But, uh, but yeah, this is something that if, if I had known earlier, it, it would have saved me like a lot of time. And I, I highly recommend it like to, to see how to talk with customers to really distill um, the, the, the kind of thing that they um, want. Got it. Yeah. I like that. So yeah. Cause like you mentioned, it was like, Oh, would you, do you like, or would you drink? You know, you got to ask, do you or have you, right? So your questions are about the past of what they already are doing. Not like it's what I kind of understand. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Awesome, man. So, so this has been fascinating. Thanks for sharing so openly, Leo, your business uh, model. It sounds like things are going well. Um, so of course it's pretty easy. Born T B O R N T dot com. You know, I've been even checking it out a little bit more during the show. Um, and uh, how can people? Of course, there's that website. Is there anything else people you want to like? Any other links or or blogs or or, or other things people can check out about you or your business? Uh, yeah. So for the business, it's uh, Born T dot com or in or Instagram Born T, um, and we. To, um, uh, you know, we some write blogs about teas, um, and we sometimes I, I, I comment, like I, I answer questions on Crora. I was once like the, the global top writer of uh, on Crora's on teas. Wow. Uh, it, it, was, it was very interesting and, and fascinating because there are a lot of like interesting questions that I did not know how to like does answer that, and ask people. Yeah. Did that, does that help your business? Did you get customers from that? Uh, not as much as I would like but it's also interesting to see what kind of questions that people have when um, about tea yeah so another yeah to to reach out uh to me is uh leo.wong at bointy.com wong is okay. w-o-n-g um, O-N-G, yeah. yep. okay great and, yeah thanks so much for sharing and uh, i wish you more success in in your in your event, business venture Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also check out our Instagram at Global From Asia. Thanks again and see you soon. E-commerce like over eight years.